Okay guys, uh, I'm back again for the second match. Uh, again, this uh, guy is playing as ASMV. Um, the thing is, uh, I couldn't really communicate with him. I think he's Spanish. And he... I don't know, whatever he was saying, I couldn't understand it. End of full hand. Um, I mean, the site glitched. Uh, he was supposed to get disqualified, but I don't know why I didn't get the win. But anyways, uh, he was late and I hope he didn't do that on purpose and he won't get punched. Okay, two mulligans. I'm sorry. Okay, the way I'm acting, I'm being a little salty. I'm just a bit annoyed from what happened before. Okay, at least we've got the Grims now next turn. Let's hope um, we don't get married. Duralden. Duralden actually is a pretty useful card, but I hardly ever see it playing IDPZ uh, lately. But anyways. So, I don't know, the ADPZ, uh, the Zassian V matchup in this format, I'm not sure if it's good or not, but yeah, I don't know. He deals 30 damage now. Can we KO him though, because this energy is that we get marned. I swear to god every time. Well, we could get marned in a good hand. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I mean, if we can get this uh, research to give us something good, we might be able to do something. But um, this guy is currently going to deal um, 30 damage. And uh, he... Oh, he has no weakness. It's not... Yeah, the fighting energy gives you less damage. That's it. Mm. So now he's also going to attach an energy, I think, yeah. Oh, he won't attach it with the attack. That was kind of a waste, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we're gonna get a KO on this thing, and... I mean, he could, he could just uh, Intrepid Sword, which I think would be the best move, yeah. So we won't get attacked. Um, One energy, so he could definitely... Just, no, don't make me discard it. Oh well. Tough luck. Of course, of course. Things like that happen. Obviously, I'm gonna get um, an awful hand. There is no uh, Impidimp. Should I do Scrapper? I don't know. Yes, I'll just stampede for 20. Hmm. This feels wonderful. Okay, I'm being really salty, I know, and I know I'm being, ah, you're being salty, just fix it. Yeah, I kinda can't right now, I'm just really annoyed, and things keep, you know, being this way. So what is he going to do? Mm. No. Um, he didn't set up that Zacian back there, but yeah, no, we can't discard the Grim Snell too. Um, so I'll just use the Tool Scrapper now. Hopefully, we can get a Grim Snell this turn. Mm. Okay. I mean, technically, we could still get a Grimmsnarl, but I'm not sure if we're that lucky. We aren't that lucky. Um, if we lose this Impidim, uh, we're gonna be in trouble. I mean, we can still set up a Grimmsnarl, but what are the odds? And also... Um, 
this guy is setting up and if we let them set up before we do uh we're done they're playing just mv they just need two attackers and a few switches and they win at least they have like the bigger retreat now but bird keepers and uh switches are what plays in this deck so I highly doubt they'll just whiff the retreats and once Jassian V comes along then we're done for. What's he gonna get? Um probably oh Crobot V. Okay. Um they play Zamazenta V2, but um that's not useful against us. And they usually play the AD slash V from Vivid Voltage 2. Because you know to shred through Altaria and Deep Forest Camel the Siege Ride. Mm. But against us that's not really useful, like why do that? Is he trying to go for the sweets? Oh that's a lot of energy you're discarding. I mean he doesn't care but you know. Okay. Now let's hope this gets stuck in here, because if it doesn't, then yikes. Okay, maybe we can get a Grimmsnarl this time. Look, it's gonna be the Grimmsnarl now, so I can't evolve. Okay, thank god. Um, Alright, if we get the Grimmsnarl down this turn, we might have a chance. Uh, but we need to set up another attacker, and we need to do that really quick. We get the Grim Snarl. Wait, I should have checked my deck a little bit. Uh, I think I saw only two Grim Snarls in there. If that's the case, then I don't think it's worth even playing. But uh, we could get lucky. He could be stuck in here. Let's see if that's the case. I think he's gonna switch into that. Uh, oh, he could hard retreat as well. Mm, but I don't think he wants to, does he not realize, yeah, I think he just realized what the stadium does. Let's see. He did it. He will add another energy back at it. Um, We'll get a prize, that's for sure. But once this thing comes in, I don't think it will matter. So, he's... Discarding heavily, I guess he's just drawing his whole deck. A lot of energy in there and a lot of metal saucers in his deck. He also plays a uh, turbo pot, so that's interesting. Okay, thankfully he's whiffing his turbo patches. I mean, at least I'm not the only one on that here. Um, now we've got the attachment for next turn. I'm um, really hoping for probably a research. Uh, wouldn't mind my bird keeper either. And the twin energy right here. Okay. I'll touch the twin because it's really important. I think he plays grass and hammers. I hope those don't hit us. Um, does the big term matter at all? I don't think it does though. I mean, yeah, it doesn't. But if he gets out more... Uh, Little attackers like this one, then it's gonna matter. First prize of the game. He seems a bit confused, I think he doesn't know what to do at this point. Um, he'll put in another Zacian. Yeah, obviously one that won't die if he whiffs the kill. Mm, we might have a chance here, but I'm not sure. He plays a lot of energy acceleration, so it's hard to know whether he'll just whiff an attack or not. But I think he's got the enough sweets in the deck to do that. <clears throat> How many sweets is only one? Okay, he's definitely playing four sweets. That's definitely a thing. Um, he could also be playing bird keepers. I mean, air balloons uh help him a lot, but like still, he needs to hard re to hard retreat if he wants to go back by using an air balloon. So. It does help him, but it doesn't hurt me that much. Mm, I think I want a boss uh, or something right now, but... <clears throat> what can I get here? 
a research. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it will lose a hiding energy, but hopefully we can get something else down. Okay. Uh, how much damage do we deal back there? Uh, we dealt 190. So if we could get all three of our zigzagoon pings, which we can't because the scoop of net is back there, that would be cool, but we cannot. So what do I do here? I think I'll just keep the zigzagoon uh, just in case, but I do want to thin my deck a little bit, but I don't want to discard the energy. So do you know what? Let's just keep the hand, deal 100 damage, and let it be. He's probably going to get the switch now and the attack, and that's going to be bad. But I don't know. Oh, crashing hammer. Okay. The twin, obviously. Oh, so he's KOing us. Um, he knows that. Or he's just got a lot of crashing hammers. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Okay, so he's gonna KO us and we are we've lost. Hmm. I mean, now I'll be really salty if I lose because this guy was like late and supposedly you get disqualified if you're late, but I guess he was lucky enough. Now I really hope for some reason he just miscalculates and he whiffs the KO. Because if he gets the KO, we basically lose at this point. There's no way around it. I mean, if he puts uh, the other the other Jason up front, we we can't KO it with like an impid imp attack. But I sure don't want to take my chances with that one. I mean, he has to be running out of saucers and turbo patches soon, so he's playing a lot of recovery, huh? I mean, he did discard his whole deck. Um, I love the goose feet. Okay, his turn is taking way too long. Not to get back. Didn't he like put every supporter back? Like, no, okay, okay. Nah, I'm overly exaggerating. Um, so, what now? I believe he will switch attach KO right now. Uh, I don't think he would do all that and then with the KO. Hmm. Marnie. Beautiful. So we will not get the KO here with an impedim attack. Because the plan was to just, you know. I mean, he could with the attack, but they never do, right? Hmm. I mean, technically, there's a way to get the KO here, but um, not sure it's gonna happen. Look, let's put a Pierce on top. Tool scrapper, that's good. Um, use the Pierce. Okay, so what have we got? Only two energies left. That's nice. The Zigzagoon, the Hoopa. Mm. Okay. I'm not liking this. I think we're gonna lose. I mean, I'm almost certain at this point, but... I mean, we can get the KO with Hoopa here. And... Do I do that? I mean, sure. It's not like we stand a chance anyways. Well, I don't want to give up on Grimshnell, so I certainly want to get some more wins and, you know, 
keep trying to make this deck work. But there's only one energy left in the deck, like, did we prize any? No. We just ran out of energy. Oof, well, those grassing hammers sure did help him. Okay. So do I put this little guy up? Um let's discard those tools. Let's put this over there. Okay, and energy. And I'm done. If he gets this attack off, um, we've lost. If he doesn't, uh, we've still lost, but we'll lose a bit later. I don't... I can't see how we win this one, to be honest, okay? I mean, the only way we could win this one is he attaches now, we evolve, we KO, mm, and then he's unable to set up another attacker. But that's not going to happen. And we're getting Marnit, so we lose our last energy and our... Is it our last Grim Snarl? No. I mean, we probably have another one in the deck. Hmm. That's interesting. So what now? Uh, we could technically stall him, but that's not gonna work. I'm starting to think that they don't play Birdkeeper anymore, and he's definitely got another Sweet in the deck. So he attaches another energy. Sorry for that. Um, we can finally evolve. Uh, the last energy is on the bottom of our deck. We bird keeper. Yeah, this boss won't help us anymore, huh? Mm, as I said, the big turn is kind of useless right now. Uh, yeah. That's about it. As I said, there, there's no way we can win this one. I mean, the least we can do is try and win this one. Grab that six second back. Why am I doing this? So that this guy can die by um, 100 blow. Get this boss back there. So should I switch and hope that he can't get the KO here? Or should I just keep a low profile? I mean, if he bosses it up, he will boss it up, so... Maybe I'll just be down. Can we get Marnit once again? We could. He plays a lot of recovery. Uh, I'm really not being too cheerful today. Sorry for that. So another energy, so he has the boss, yeah, he gets the perfect turn once again. Congratulations, you win. So that'll be our second loss to Zacian V. Um, well, what can you do? Oh, I research. What? He misclicked. What? What happened? What? I mean, he loses now. Did we lock out or is he just... I don't... I don't know. 
I don't know. Okay, um, perfect. Uh, someone is calling me. Um, sorry, sorry for that. Um, popping up on your screen. Um, but. Apparently, some people don't get it that I'm, you know, making the video right now. Sorry for kind of ruining it. I hope they don't call me again. Uh, and done. I think we win now, don't we? GG's. Uh, um, I'm confused. I'll see you in the next match. Uh, Okay guys, so I'm right back at the game, uh, so it's now 1-1 in the win-loss ratio. Um, we get to go first. My opponent is playing the Decidueye, my opponent is Magenta Man. And the Decidueye is a really bad matchup for us, because it does double the damage. But let's see if we can pull through. He gets a Mulligan, that's good. Uh, apparently he only plays 4 Pokemon, which is also good for us. You know, he only plays the four outlets, uh, so I think he plays some more on Gurus too. Um, actually, I'm really happy we won uh, last game. Uh, the guy wouldn't explain to me if it was a misclick or not. I don't think he knew English. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. Attach the energy, attach that. Um, I want to keep the tool scrapper to avoid... Uh, Sananigans, but I believe I'm gonna discard one of my researches because I want to keep the quick ball and grab. Uh, I wanted the Oranguru, but since we don't get the Oranguru, there's exactly no Impidim. Um, gonna go for an Impidim, honestly. The Hoopa is not gonna be that helpful, and there's exactly one either, so. Okay, so um, that was a lucky win, I guess, so I, I'm not allowed to be grumpy about being unlucky um, for the rest of the day. So, um, <laughs> let's see what we can do. I'm not allowed to be grim anymore. My deck is grim enough. Mm. So two Rowlets down. He's got um, the attack that if he uses Bird Keeper, he does 60 whatever he wants. Like, whatever he wants on the bench. Which is a bit bad for us. Mm. So what? I think I'm gonna ping the one with the energy. And I'm probably gonna research. I mean, yeah, let's grab whatever else we want. I'll grab a Hoopa, why not, let's just have it here, it could be helpful, and then research. I mean, Marnie would have made his hand a bit smaller, okay, that's awful. Uh, but, I mean, who cares? Okay, counting on getting the energy next turn is not really clever, because I don't think I will. But... Attaching to hiding energies on a Morgrim is a big uh, a big waste. So yeah, let's just do that. Hopefully he doesn't get the attack off next turn. And if we had boss we could have KO'd that Rowlet now. Which would have been real fun. Not for the other guy. Um so let's hope he doesn't get a good turn. Okay, he gets a good turn. So he's got a Decidueye ready. Has he got a Bird Keeper slash Switch though? I mean, I wish he just gormandizes himself again. No, he bosses up what? One of our Impidimps. Scoop up Nets so he can deal 20 back. I don't think that was his best bet right now, but okay. What else? I think that's a bad move. Okay, so uh, can we get uh, Twin Energy now? 
I would love a yes, but I won't be getting one apparently. So I will simply add that. Retreat. And attack. Assault gate for night. Mm, okay, I said I'm not allowed to be grumpy about being a lucky, so I can't do it right now. And let's see how this goes. Um, obviously, we don't want Grimmsnarl to be up front. Now, Grimmsnarl can be one hit KO'd since he dealt 20 to every single impid imp around. Um, this will get one hit KO'd, we'll get some more damage spread, and... I don't really like that. Um, yes, thank god Amarni. Let me save this little guy, and... Probably ping this one back there. Marnie them, though I don't think they'll mind that much. Twin energy, that's good. The counter stadium, that's even better. Um, let me just do that. And I'll probably research next turn, so I don't want to thin my deck by using the evolution incense right now. It's no use. So we get a prize. Um, he'll probably promote the Snorlax right now. Okay, he won't. Mm. So he might have a plan here, which is what I'm afraid of. But if he doesn't have a plan, then we might be able to win this. Does he have a boss in his hand? Please don't. If he has a boss in his hand, then that's gonna get really ugly real fast. Okay, he has a, a research. That's cool. Mm. I was not feeling good uh, for this match, but maybe just maybe this can work out. The siege rays are not particularly strong, but sadly they deal double damage to us. So yeah, that's that's not the what you want to see. However, uh, we can KO them fairly easily unless they play uh, big terms. That's when things get a bit ugly. Why, wait, why can I not attack? Um, my ability okay mm. if we're gonna research uh, I might as well just put this big term up here oh yeah <laughs> um. oh he's sad now okay I, I... I didn't want to make you sad, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Um, I mean, should we just attack here? I think that's the right thing to do. Mm, then I'll probably promote the other Hoopa uh, and retreat to attack because... Oh, a boss's orders. Okay, that's good because... <sighs> maybe that's what I needed, okay? Um, I know I'm going to sound like a Disney movie or something, but maybe I needed to just be... Um, I'm more positive all along. Maybe that's what it is. And I'll go and look at the footage and I'll be like doing all the wrong moves and just blaming it on bad luck. I watch my videos, by the way. Um, is that weird? Because tell me in the comments if that's weird. But um, I usually watch my videos to see if they were good enough. If they weren't, then you know, um, I probably feel bad about posting them and stuff. So now we boss up the the CGI and we need another damage counter. So I'll just zigzagoon ping him once and then attack. And the KO. Okay, I'm liking where this is going. He's only got one attacker left, but he plays Ordinary Road. I remember that. And... Ordinary Rod is bad for us, because he can get uh, some Decidueyes and Rowlets back. I don't know how many he plays, I think he plays one or two. Getting our stadium out of commission is also a bit bad. 
because he can easily manually retreat. But we'll see, he only gets an energy. Oh, he doesn't have any more Rowlets, huh? I don't think he can win this with Snorlax. Hmm. What do I do now, though? Because... Okay, obviously I'm gonna set up another Grim Snarl. Uh, do I need another Twin? No, I'll grab this energy, though, to give it to my Hoopa. Or maybe I'll give the Hoopa this energy and then just retreat and attack because I don't want any sudden surprises coming my way. And since, you know, it doesn't matter which one of those Pokemon I attack with, I might as well attack with Hoopa because it's not relevant, it's a two hit anyway. Crushing Hammer? Oh, that's clever. Okay, he wants to get my Hoopa stuck. However, since he got one energy with uh, Sonia, is he... Okay, another Crushing Hammer. That's not fun. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what now? Tool Scrapper. Now we don't want to play Tool Scrapper. Um, I do want to switch, though. Gonna slowly build this one up again. Switch. Attack. Now has I think he's got another crashing hammer left. Oh no, two more crashing hammers. So let's hope he doesn't hit those two. That that would get awkward. But yeah, the ordinary road. Um, I don't know if he can come back from this anymore. I don't think he can. Like, mm, I believe it's too late. So he'll probably grab the Rowlet. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I boss up the Rowlet, I would feel really bad. So if I get the boss, I just won't boss it up. Okay, thankfully I didn't get the boss because I would be really tempted to boss it up. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. I know I sound terrible, but I I'm sorry, I would be really tempted. That would basically seal the deal. Okay, so, um, for now, we're gonna have to settle with just getting rid of one of his Snorlaxes. Okay, are we out of Dark Energies? Yeah, I think we are. So, this guy and this uh, other guy in the bench, the one with the three Darks, those are our last attackers. So let's hope he doesn't do anything. I seriously wish we get the special charge back. I don't know if it's called special charge or something else. I might be wrong here. But special charge was a card that shuffled two special energy back from your discard pile into your deck. A really good card because, you know, decks like this one would really benefit from it. Or decks that like Mad Party that play a lot of special energies. Um... Okay, he's getting two Rowlets back. Why? Maybe he's got some Deciduous in the deck. I mean... I don't know, now he can't attack. Is he just giving up that way? Is that what he's doing? I don't know. Mm. We'll see. Well played. Well played, my guy. So he gives up. Second win, so yeah, maybe the positive energy helps. See you positively in the next match.